Forest to play against the Spruce Arrow. You, the, you uh, went to uh, Governor Conley's for a long time. Yeah. And uh, I don't know how it happened, but I just happened to end up in, in Tommy's room and we attended to him. And then after they took him upstairs, which was pretty rapidly, well, then I went over into to, uh, the room that Kennedy was in. How long do you estimate uh, you, you were in the same room with the president? They say he was there approximately 20 minutes. Yeah, I mean, probably two or five, three to five minutes somewhere along that line. Like I told you yesterday on the phone, when, when I went in there, uh, he already had a cut down in his foot and had a some sort of endotracheal tube. I think it was a soft endotracheal tube in his neck, which lay, later said was in through the neck wound. What was and your role in the room then? What did you do? I, did, I just went in and didn't really have much of a role because about fairly soon after that they pronounced him dead. Do you go in sort of to see whether you could be of any assistance, sure. basically? Yeah, that's what I see. And that was after, actually, you had attended to Governor Conley. Um, yeah. yeah. I see. Did you have an opportunity to examine a president's head wound? I didn't really examine it, but I <clears throat> just walked in and, you know, there was some discussion going on about whether to pronounce him dead or not. You know, and I said, well, you know, just haven't made a comment. It looks pretty good because, you know, just looking at him laying down looked okay, and somebody lifted up his head and showed me his massive wound. So, so you read I Could you describe that a little more specifically? You, you I just remember it as being really massive, you know, with him laid out. You couldn't see much, but when they picked Lying up. on his back with his back of his head down. Back his head covered up. Couldn't see much, but then when he picked up his head, I just remember it was a massive head wound. It looked like it must have been 10 centimeters or so in diameter area was gone from the back of his head. Now, when the, we realized that, you know, he didn't have a chance then, really. Who picked up his head, do you recall? I don't remember that. And where were you standing? Just kind of lifted, you know, enough to be able to see. When they did lift it up, uh, where were you standing when that occurred? Beside him. Beside him, so you had a good chance to, 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 to look at it. I don't remember that now. So you did have a good chance to, to, to observe the wound at that point? Uh, I didn't look at it in detail. It was so massive, you could see it was a... So could you describe yeah. where it was uh, on his head? I don't, as far as <coughs> Location lateralization or that sort of thing, I don't remember that much now. I just, I just really remember the massive extent of it. But we have a, um, a uh, model of a skull here. Do you think you can make a stab at trying to you know, uh, outline roughly where it was on that? Probably. Probably really wouldn't be fair because, you know, it's been so long. And as far as, I would just have to say it was a tremendous wound on, on the back of the head. And I can't really, at, the, Could you, at this moment, lateralize one side or the other, you know, that sort of thing. You, you wouldn't give it a stab just to uh, I don't think give it us a general fair. location? Yeah, I don't really think it would be fair. Sure. Because it's been so long, I, you know, my memory is kind of blurred. I um, haven't even thought about that for a long time. One of the questions probably you may be aware is whether the wounds, there seems to be a conflict in various descriptions of the wounds as to whether it was more on the back or more on the side. And clearly it was posterior to a major degree, but some descriptions really put it more parietal and some put it more occipital, although all tend to, you know, there's some overlap on all of them. And that's sort of the key, yeah. one of the key issues we're, we're really trying to pin down since all the descriptions, of, well, the particularly ones from Dallas seem to put it more posteriorly and the ones yeah. from Bethesda seem to put it more laterally. And that's, that's why we're trying to get at that particular yeah. issue. It'd be hard to be accurate. So, you know, there was just blood all over and, and mass and uh, I'm sure there's some brain tissue clot and he had a tremendous amount of hair. I mean, you know, his hair stood up. Really. So I, it'd be hard for anybody to... Well, what was I it? can see why there would be some differences in the, mm -hmm. people's impressions in the sense that it was all happened so fast. Mm -hmm. and, Yes, I, I can understand that. Did you write a report that day of uh, your activities? No, I didn't write anything. You weren't asked Some to. Some people said I missed the boat. No, I, I, I was <laughs> never asked to. You know, and, and I just gave a little paragraph deposition to the Warren Commission, you know, several weeks or a month later. Concerning and, what? Just what I saw. And, you know, the time. But I, they didn't ask me anything very specifically in regard to the president. It was, it was, it was mostly concerning Connolly. You don't recall if the head wound was in the back of the head, the side of the head? I don't know, really. I it was really remember it was just a massive wound, you know, a tremendous size wound. And I haven't gone back and, and looked at any of the reports or anything like that. But uh, For our purposes, it's, it's, it's 
good that you didn't go back to look at any reports. We're just trying to get your virgin it's, recollection. It was really, you know, extensive. If I were holding my hand up, that, that, that 15 centimeters or so. But, but where? I mean, on the, on the forehead, the back? Oh, it's all on the uh, back side. Back. What do you say that? I already think of it more, you know, as being, see, we lifted up his head just enough to look and just the whole back side of the head. Well, show us on the, on the skull Would here. Would you say that it's like, exactly I would, yeah, like I said, this is really not, not you, clear, you the but I just, even, you know, it's lying like that and like this and the head, all this, you know, his hair stood up like this high at least, you know, and so it's lifted up just enough to look. And it just looked like the whole back of the could, skull was could just, could you, could you just, just put it on here. Just would you say that lying down, you couldn't see any of the wound? I could see some wound edges, but the whole, you know, the whole, the hair was matted with blood clots, and uh, you couldn't really tell where the hair left off and uh -huh. the wound started. But uh, and I just remember mostly just the back side of the head being gone. But could you just draw that? Tissue, you know, that it, it was. Fancy, you know, I remember that. I don't know if it would come up that much, but I don't see the line. It's all I, I really, like I said, this is all a long time ago, and I, I, my recollections really are fair. But from what I saw, it would just be the back of the head, you know, most of it. So there might have been a little bit to one side or the other, but it really can't be. Uh huh. Uh -huh. But you're putting it really pretty squarely is your recollection yeah. in the back, right? Darken Could we darken it a bit and tell yeah. us if that is your uh, fundamentally your your uh, recollection? Well, within you know within the uh, realm of air due to the mm -hmm. blood clot and all that, and just taking a transient look like I did, it was mostly on the, the back. Although there might have been a little bit to one side or the other, and I wouldn't remember really, you know. And it, that, I wouldn't have concentrated on it that much either in in the. Uh, under the pressures that were sure, going on okay. at that time. But it, 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 on the basis of that uh, line that you've just drawn in the head, uh, I guess it's fair to say that you're putting it more occipital than parietal? I think so, yeah. If there's any parietal involved, it was the posterior part of the parietal. You know, mm -hmm. the back. And in order to observe this wound, his head had to be lifted up. If he was lying flat back, yeah. you wouldn't have seen it. Is that correct? That's right. Do you recall anything about someone at the point it was lifted up that you were there shining, someone shining a light at uh, the wound itself to examine it more closely? Not right at that time. Uh, Doctor, I'd like to now show you a uh, tracing of a photograph that appears in uh, Volume 7 of the House Assassinations Committee report. This is the committee in Congress that recently completed its investigation last year. This is an exact tracing of a photograph made by a woman named Ida Docks. It purports to be accurate hair for hair. It shows the rear view of the president's head during the autopsy proceeding, a photo taken just before the autopsy proceeding. I'd like to show this to you, and could you tell me if that squares with your recollection of the rear of the president's head that you observed? Just had that small of a wound. I remember a lot, seemed to me like it was a lot bigger wound than that. Now, what, what wound do you, when you say I'm small wound, what, what wound are you referring head. to? Yeah, the one on the cowlick there? Yeah, or this one. I was thinking about this one. He's got one down here, too. Is that what they're Well, that, there's some controversy about that. The, the one on the hairline, the officials of the House investigation are saying that that's brain tissue. The autopsists do dispute that. The autopsists say that's the entry wound. This uh, is a drawing? This is a, a tracing of a drawing. Photograph, reportedly. Hmm. Photo, actual photographs have never been uh, released. But when the House uh, Committee did it, yeah, well, I re really remember, you know, more of a wound right like that, it's indicating sort of a gaping area. wound in the yeah. cowlick area right. that would overlap the area of that bullet the side that wound there, size. basically, yeah. and would really wipe it out, obliterate. I, you know, I see, they place a large wound, as you can see, this flap of skull over there on the side rather than the back. I don't uh, remember seeing much of it. damage on the front of his head at all, or on the side. The side, you know, on the side that you could see from looking at with him, he was, uh, you know, when I walked in, his head was laying down just on the carrier, 
and uh, I really couldn't see much of a, a head wound as I remember it right off and didn't see much until they lifted up his head and showed me the wound on the back side of his head. And when you couldn't see much, you're you, you referring to the front and the sides, correct? From what you could see, yeah, it'd be, you know, what would show there were, mm -hmm. of course, tiles laying here and there, and I, you know, they could have had something on the back side that covered up that I didn't see. What is this one here? That, That's really... This uh, is a drawing, a composite sketch, what I'm going to show you now, of a composite sketch of a wound posterior parietal or occipital based on a description given by Dr. McClellan to the Warren Commission. Showing you now a wound that appears in a book called Six Seconds in Dallas, written by... This is what McClellan described? Well, it's what he... He gave a description to the Warren Commission yeah. and an artist that using those words reproduce this yeah, drawing. That's, that's probably, you know, like I said, my judgment of laterality was not accurate at all, but that's what it looked like more to me is a gaping wound, you know. But is the location that, roughly you know, correct? That could be because, you know, with, with somebody just picking up the head and me taking a look, I really, that's why I was hesitant to do this. My ability to put the exact location is really poor. Hesitant to draw, you mean? Yeah, that's the reason I was hesitant to draw this on the skull. You've placed but, it a little higher, but it's but if certainly... But pick up the head, well, it, it could be in that, uh, you know, as to where it was, I just, I just remember a, a big gaping wound on the back of the head. You are sure about it being on the back of the head, posterior? Yeah, okay. somewhere along the... Uh, here's well, it had to be because, you know, I really couldn't see much on the way ahead when he was looking when he's, until his head was lifted, so whatever it was had to be on the post here. I'm showing you now another another drawing done uh, by a uh, Professor Latimer who uh, viewed the autopsy photos. This is his sketch of showing a um, gaping wound in the right parietal area. This is based on his observations of the autopsy photographs. Would that square with your recollection or, or not? That's pretty far in, pretty far anterior, forward. You know, that. I, I, you know, really thought it was uh, more posterior than that. It's kind of hard to reconcile with what you remember. Right? But, you know, it, it could have been up to the mid part of the head because as much hair as he had covered up the wounds some what from what I can see and I really didn't look that long at it to really make me a real accurate observation. Did you have any sense whether there was a lot of loose scalp tissue at that point? It seemed like it was the scalp and uh, blood clot and hair that just matted mess all around the, the Was the cerebellum visible? There was some brain tissue, I don't know which it was. I don't remember that uh, ever making an observation of which one, but I don't remember seeing the brain tissue. And would that indicate a uh, posterior wound rather than a lateral well, parietal you, wound? You could see cerebellum that would, but I don't remember whether I saw cerebellum or just you know, brain tissue. Any other questions? No, I think that's Dr. Cook, can we just, uh, by way of just your, your background, you are a uh, urologist, urologist, is that correct? Right? And uh, how long have you been practicing? I've been in practice for 11 years. 11 years? I was a resident at the time I was at Parkland. I'm just starting the residency. Uh, your first year resident, were you? I started as a resident November 1st. So I've, I've just been a resident for three or four weeks at that time. Where are you affiliated now? Uh, where, where do you do? Here at the, at the Dallas Medical Surgical Clinic and at Baylor Hospital. And I'm a an attending staff at Parkland. And were you summoned to the emergency room like other doctors that day? No, or? See, I was on call in the emergency room at the time. I was just finishing up a 36-hour shift at the time that all happened. Mm -hmm. okay. but, Do you have any particular title here at the clinic? Or, uh, just a urologist. Just urologist yeah. The spelling of your name again is D-U-L-A-N-Y? Yes, sir. Is that correct? And Richard? Richard. You have a middle name, middle initial? Brooks. Okay. All right. All right. I think that uh, concludes it. Thank you, sir. Appreciate. It. Is that is that an actual picture? That's a drawing. It's said to be a tracing from an actual photograph taken at the time of the autopsy, as they began the autopsy. I hadn't realized. I mean, the autopsy pictures of 
have never been released? No, they have been viewed by a handful of people who got permission from the Kennedy family. They're in the National Archives, but access is controlled by the family. So the number of people who have seen them is very, very limited. We're talking, well, other than the, there are several people who saw it for the House Assassinations Committee, a panel of maybe, what, uh, five or ten, who have basically looked at them from the point of view of whether they were, was there any indication they'd been, uh, uh, what I'm trying to say, um, uh, you know, uh, changed tampered or, uh, or tampered doctored with. with. But no, they haven't had any sort of wide distribution. This one of uh, which a tracing was made is the only one that circulated really at all. And uh, there's, a, there's a question because of the apparent conflict with what some people as to whether there's some problem with that, uh, that photograph. Of course, there's another question of whether the tracing is in fact an accurate tracing, but people who have seen both say it is. So uh, we're trying to get at what the nature of that conflict is and how it arises. Definitely. Probably. That's not the way I remember it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. Observation that I made. Sure. Well, all right. Thanks.